Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Half Shell Heroes, Casey Jones, and Metalhead. This comes to us from the folks over at Playmates Toys, or also comes to us from the folks over at Spin Master, who is uh, distributing the Turtles toys here in Canada. Uh, Spot definitely wanted to review this line of toys because these are so awesome as they are little miniature versions of the Turtles characters. Uh, I can also tell you too, with Christmas right around the corner, these things are selling like hotcakes. They can't seem to keep these in shelves. I went to Toys R Us actually this week and pretty much all of the Turtles half-shell heroes were gone. Gone! So I guess this is the hot item. The hot item for Christmas this year. Of course, warning choke and hazard small parts not for children under three years of age. It is recommended for ages three and up. And this two-pack features, once again, Casey Jones and Metalhead. There are the four Turtle Brothers up at the top corner, having a ball. On the flip end of the package, a complete line of Turtle figures complete with turtles and vehicles. And then we've got the two packs down below. Uh, it seems like the hardest two packs to find are the Shredder and Foot Soldier and Dog Pound and Fish Face. Luckily Spot was able to find all the other ones here. Uh, you can collect the entire world of Half Shell Heroes complete with play sets, larger vehicles as well. The read-up says coming out of their shells for the first time, the Half Shell Heroes are ready for non-stop ninja adventure. You can join the fun-loving brothers in their pizza-fueled missions as they team as they team up to mess with the menacing mutants and stop Shredder. What I am going to do is take a break. Not much of a break, a very small break, but I'm going to take a break and get these guys out of their packaging. And when we come back, we can get a better look at Casey Jones and Metalhead. There's more heading way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Well, certainly as names go, they are half shells. They're give or take about half the size of the standard turtle toys that we've been, you know, that we've been collecting before. Uh, the trade-off are much more adorable, much smaller again piece than what we have seen before. But you know what? Still decent looking pieces. I'm really loving these. I love also the little child versions of, of toys, like you know, little kitty Spider-Mans and little, uh, you know, like the fun school. Uh, Fisher Price kind of superheroes. So, like, I really gravitate towards something like this. I mean, they're very small, very simplistic in design, but they are really neat little pieces. As you probably see Spot playing with the arm of Metalhead, he is articulated as well. Uh, for articulation, his head is just on a swivel. It rotates left and right. Arms rotate uh, forward. Not really a lot, only to about there. They rotate forward. Uh, and also, what's interesting is that their arms pivot out. So there's a little hinge that allows the arms to move out as well. The legs look like they're on a single joint. So in other words, when you move one leg, the other leg joins along. This leg's decided to go fishing. This leg has decided to come along as well. Um, not as much coloring, I guess, as his much larger 6-inch version. But uh, Metalhead still has the, the darker gray, the nice yellow in his chest. Little knee pads, elbow pads, and of course in his bandana. Also in his bandana as well, you'll see some blue eyes telling us he is alive. His one arm is open, or one hand I should say is open, but he doesn't come with any accessories. This other hand is some sort of repulsor blast, stop right there kind of hand gesture. Uh, there is no uh, arm swivel or anything like that, but certainly fun little pieces, even on the back. The little New York City manhole cover. A nice little touch. Peg holes on the undersides of his feet too, but he doesn't also come with any sort of display stands. So there you have Metalhead. Moving along, we also got ourselves Casey Jones in this two-pack. Um, not crazy about his mask, but that really has nothing to do with the half-shell version of him. That's is my preference. I'm not a fan of this mask that he wears. Uh, he is mostly all black. Be a just some flesh color in his hands. Of course, the white in his mask there and a little bit of brown. Comes with his trusty hockey stick, though it is affixed to his hand. You can't remove it or anything like that. 
for his articulation. His head is on a little swivel. It rotates left and right, like so. Arms rotate uh, back and forth. There's also a hinge allowing the arms to move out. And uh, Casey Jones also looks like he has... Oh, perhaps he does not. I was going to say it looks like he has a swivel in the, in the elbow, but he does not. Spot's making up things. Things that actually aren't there. I can tell you, though, at least his legs do rotate. But in the same vein as uh, Metalhead, they rotate at the same time. You could take Casey Jones and sit him down. Why not? You could also take Metalhead and sit him down. If you have the vehicles, you can put those guys in the vehicles as well. Uh, not crazy so much on the Casey Jones. I'm just kind of a purist. I like the old Casey Jones. But I do dig Metalhead. He looks neat. Um, also, too, with uh, Playmates releasing a whole line of these, you're going to be getting all the Turtle characters, April O'Neil, Splinter, you know, little side characters, and you're going to get all the mutants, even a Krang. So it allows kids, like maybe you guys out there, it allows kids to have smaller versions of Turtles, a little easier to play with. You can take it along with you when you go to Nana's house. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look. There they are right there. We're having a look today at the Playmates Toys Half Shell Heroes, Casey Jones, and Metalhead. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos like these. We're going to be having more a look at the Half Shell Heroes. So lots of videos will be definitely heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.